What's up guys, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and today I'm going to be remaking a previous video of mine. Basically, I showed you how to add custom amounts of money to your Steam account. A lot of people thought the video was something it's not, i.e. adding money without actually spending money. And the way that I edited the video wasn't the best, I blurred out far too much because the amount I had on my Steam account was rather big. Either ways, now I have a more reasonable amount on my Steam account. And pulling it across, here it is, I'll click my name, and as you can see, I have 40 Rand, 41 cents. These are South African Rands, and of course, I'm saying that because currency does matter here. From what I've seen in the comments from the previous video, your location will affect whether this actually works or not. So keep that in mind, if it doesn't work for you and you're not able to add a custom amount from a card, PayPal, or anything else like that, and you can only add those specific default set amounts, well then, unfortunately, it may just be a country thing for you. Though for me, in South Africa, this does work very well. So I currently have 40 Rand 41 cents. I'll click on my wallet and I get to this page over here where I can go ahead and add funds. So 60 Rand's minimum fund level, 120, 300, 600, 1,200. Say that I wanted to add something like 80 Rand to my Steam account to bring it up to 120 Rand or possibly even 80 Rand and 50 cents. How exactly would I get to do that? Well, there used to be a custom option, and currently there isn't, but you're still able to add custom amounts. As you can see, there is no 80 Rand button, but what we can do is open this exact page over here in a web browser, i.e. Chrome or Firefox. I'm going to use Chrome in this tutorial, though Firefox will be very similar. So heading across to this page, you can see I'm not logged in. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and log in in your browser. Then once you've signed into your account, it'll look somewhat similar to what we saw on Steam. So I can add 60, 120, 300, etc, etc. What I'm going to do is right click and click inspect element or hit Control Shift I or whatever it is for your browser. Then once this pops up, I'll right click on one of the add funds button, the green part, and click inspect element. As you can see, it says span, add funds, or it'll possibly have this one selected, A class, etc., etc. And this is the button that we're looking at. This is literally the code behind the button. And as you can see, it has data amount 6,000 being 60.00. It's counted in total cents. Then we have data currency, href, which is just blank, and on click JavaScript submit add funds, this. So what we can do is simply edit data amount. As you can see, we're not actually editing the text, which is right above it. We're editing data amount. So if I were to change this to 8,000 instead of 6,000, click somewhere else to set it, you'll see nothing changes here. But the actual button itself and its function has changed. So if we click this, we'll get taken to a new page. And over here, we can go ahead and enter our payment details, which I'll go ahead and do now and cut to the next page. And then once we get across to the next page, I've accidentally highlighted everything by scrolling over this. But basically, you can see to be added to your Steam wallet, 80 Rand or whatever you typed in, followed by your currency. Now, if you got this to work, then great, it means that it'll work for you. Though editing the page isn't the only way that we can get here. And that for a lot of people has been the downfall of my previous video because they're just saying I've edited this page, which is completely valid but I'd recommend you go ahead and try for yourself before you mark this video off as a troll. Either way, I'm gonna cancel this and head back two pages to get back to this page over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the add funds button once again, find it, and this time I'm gonna change it to say 8053. So I'm gonna add 80 Rand and 53 cents to my account. I'll click anywhere else to save this. And as you can see, I have 40 Rand 41. Opening up Steam, you can see I have 40 Rand 41. And I'm going to go ahead and add 80 Rand 53 cents to my account. So now that I've edited data amount, I'll click add funds and I'll enter my payment details. Of course, I'll pause my screen. Then now that I'm on this page over here, as you can see, I'm going to be adding 80 Rand 53 cents to my account. I'll close inspect element and I want you to make a note of the current time. It is currently 44, 38, 39, 6th of June, 2020. I'm going to click I agree and purchase. Now, as you can see, I've received a purchase receipt for 80 Rand 83 cents, 44.54. And heading into Steam over here, clicking the drop down, you can see I have 120 Rand 94 cents. So I've successfully added 80 Rand and 53 cents. So if I were to right click on this page, reload, you'll see that I have 120 Rand and 94 cents, much as you'd expect. Now my phone did vibrate and my bank account has been charged for 80 Rand 
and 53 cents. I'll probably put a screenshot of the notification I got on screen now. So hopefully this video was a lot more clear than my previous videos going through this. And I'd highly recommend that if you are skeptical of this working, that you go ahead and try it out for yourself. Keep in mind that it may not work for your country, currency or payment method, but for me in South Africa, paying via card, it worked perfectly as expected. Anyways, my name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video cleared up a couple of things from my previous one and was a lot better to use. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.